Hey, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees. And we're gonna talk about screen inner covers and why we use them here at Bohemia Apiary. You're gonna to wanna to watch this one. Stay tuned. shop the honey house and uh, we're going to talk quickly about another uh, component of a beehive that uh, most beekeepers don't use um, many people are familiar with the um, an inner cover and the purpose of an inner cover um, really when you have a hive body a beehive body you see here this is just a super with some frames in it um, typically uh, you want to be able to uh, prevent the bees from building comb to attach to the lid you put on top. And so many beekeepers uh, over the years have done different things to do that. Uh, primarily, uh, I've seen uh, a layer of cloth uh, put on here, uh, similar to what you see here. Uh, this is one we use in our apiary uh, as sort of an inner cover. It's a good way to be able to peel back and work the bees uh, without them coming up. Uh, these get tend to get really filled up and messy pretty quick. These will glue them down. So sometimes as you peel them back, uh, it can disturb the bees a little bit more than you want to. Um, so we, we don't use them as often, but they are nice. I've seen also the, the metal foil uh, that's used on top. I know that a lot of commercial beekeepers like Ian Steffler in, uh, in Canada uses the metal uh, flex foil for his inner covers. Again, same purpose to prevent the bees from gluing the lid down and being able to access them at your convenience. However, I will say that most beekeepers, when they do get bee, a new beehive, they get something like this, which is a, a solid inner cover. Uh, it has a, usually a hole in the middle or a smaller hole to allow you to see you know, the bees down in the frames or allow you to put a feeder jar over top to feed them. Uh, when you look at the construction of a inner cover, um, it should fit the size of the box you're using, whether it's 10 frame or 8 frame or 5 frame. Um, you can typically get those sizes in, in inner covers. Uh, but you'll also see a shallow end of the inner cover and a deep end of the inner cover. Uh, that's really, again, for you to be able to use uh, at your discretion. Uh, the least amount of space you give the bees between the gap, which is that bee space you see here, the least amount of space you give those bees, the least amount of comb they're going to build or burr comb or connector comb um, that you're going to have to deal with and scrape off. Um, however, some sometimes you want a deeper uh, uh, inner cover to allow you to use like a fondant patty uh, or a pollen patty. And that's why you would use the, 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 the more deep end to give you a little bit more space to put those patties of food on top of your, of your colonies. You also see on this one it has a notch. Uh, most people don't realize that that is an upper entrance and they typically will place it, you know, face down because the shallow end down uh, indicates that it's the upper, uh, it's an air vent and you can crack the hive to allow the air to go out. Um, the bees will also come up through the hole if you don't cover it and use that as an exit. We like to take those notches and place them down on our colonies and give them an upper entrance that way too. Um, however, you can also place it backwards to give them no entrance. Again, very versatile to have inner covers. These are the inner covers we would sell if you're going to get a traditional inner cover setup. But we're going to talk about something a little unique today. We're going to talk about screened inner covers. And I know it's not a moving screen. Um, I know that that's typically what uh, older beekeepers and commercial beekeepers will say this is, but it's not a moving screen. It's not a double screen for purposes of uh, keeping two colonies separated. It is called an inner screen cover. And this inner screen cover looks just like the solid cover you see here. The difference is, is it's a solid sheet of screen, uh, typically hardware cloth, metal hardware cloth, that allows the bees uh, to do a couple unique things. And, and I'll tell you why we use these screened inner covers. They're constructed 
Um, very much like the intercover, have a shallow and a deep end like we have on both sides. It has a notch that we like to use as well for an upper entrance. So when we place these screened inner covers on, we have that upper entrance if you need it. You can also flip it over backwards and have a, a, a wider gap there so you don't need a shim in the wintertime to put a, a thicker pollen patty. You actually get a little bit more room in there than you do on a traditional inner cover, solid inner cover. But that's not the reason why we like screened inner covers here at Bohemia Apiary. Um, you could guess that we like it for ventilation and that's probably partially right. But what I like about screen inner covers is that I have the ability to take my cover, put it over top, this is the inner cover, and I'm able to lift that lid and peek down at my bees and see what the population is on the frames without disturbing them. I can monitor the colony very quickly, very easily, without actually having to go in and disassemble to see where the volume is. If I just had the traditional inner cover on, the only thing that I could see what's going on is in that little hole right there. So I'm unable to do that. I'm unable to, to really, until I crack that lid, you know, put the smoke under it, and then pry the whole thing off, I can't see what the bees are doing. So now I have the ability to do that with a screened inner cover. The other thing I like about a screened inner cover, it helps me monitor my hives more frequently than I, I um, am able to as well because I can go out, lift that lid, and monitor the, where the volume of bees are at on the, on the, um, in the colony and see if it's, you know, going, if it is, the cluster is getting smaller, if the, they're working less frames or they're working more frames, or maybe at their peak and they're reaching 80% coverage and I'll know I'll need to maybe give them more space or another box. I can quickly assess that pretty much on all my colonies in my apiary by having that screen intercover. But there is actually two more benefits of why we like the screen intercover. Uh, in addition to the good airflow, um, it helps your honey super cure faster because of that airflow, gives them a top upper entrance, allows you to assess the bees without them flying up at you. You can see where the cluster's at if you need to give them more space. What also it does is it becomes a fantastic pollen trap. And this is an extreme example because this one was on for a couple years. We use it on the same hive and this hive was very prolific with their, their propolis. Um, and I said pollen trap, I meant propolis trap. Um, so a propolis trap is what typically beekeepers will use to collect propolis for purposes of helping um, to uh, use its, the benefits of a propolis product or byproduct of the hive. The beauty and the color of all these saps that the trees and the botanical saps that the, the bees will go out and get and plug this, this actual cover with a wax propolis is amazing. The smell of this is amazing. The benefits of the propolis in a colony we're already learning is hugely important. The recent study done uh, and the new products offered uh, in the industry made by Premier, the uh, uh, Premier Propola Hive, which uses the benefit of the uh, etching within the side of the hive to encourage the bees to put more propolis. Um, that benefit is what we're seeing on our inner cover as well. Right, we're seeing that benefit all the way through the hive, creating a full envelope um, on that colony to allow the bees to adjust how much airflow they want. Uh, and again, this is an extreme example. Um, typically, the bees will fill up all the way around the perimeter at a couple spots in the middle um, and allowing the airflow to still occur, but also allowing the propolis to seal that, that colony and create that propolis envelope. Um, what I've also found that the bees will do is they push small hive beetles into and up on the top of this screen inner cover. So where this is an extreme example, if this, this example here, let's say they only did the propolis around the perimeter and a couple spots in the middle. When I lift the lid of that colony and the small hive beetles, I'll see them in the top up here, quarantined in the corners, and I can easily just take my hive tool and squish them very easily uh, and it's a way for the bees to, again, quarantine those small hive beetles up inside this layer, up away from the combs, um, continuing to protect the hive from the small hive beetle pest. Um, last but not least, if you do have a screen inner cover and it does get filled up like this one, it's not a problem. It's not that it's, it needs to be uh, thrown away. This is amazing propolis that can be harvested. I can sit and pick it off with my fingers if I wanted to. And you can see that amazing propolis, uh, keep it in a jar. Um, I can also stick this in the freezer like a propolis trap, and I can freeze it for 24 hours, flip it over, smack it hard onto a surface, and all that propolis drops off. 
So I can reuse the, the cover as it was, and I can continue to collect propolis as a propolis trap, um, and it gives all the benefits that we look for in, uh, in a colony that has a beautiful propolis envelope. So that's why we use screened inner covers here. We do sell them if you go to bohemiabees.com. We sell screened inner covers. We have them for five frame, eight frame, and 10 frame. These are Amish made, so they're very good quality. Uh, they're gonna last you a lifetime. This one's been around for a very long time, as you can see. Um, this one's a brand new one, um, and that's what it would look like. Uh, it's just a very versatile tool to use in your colony. We talk about uh, the traditional hive body setup. We talk about using things like slatted racks and the importance of using slatted racks. I'll put a link in the description below about slatted racks, but this is one is a screen inner cover that I think is another added benefit to a colony, uh, a hive, if you want to get a component that makes sense to use for your hive. So we're going to continue to keep doing um, uh, informational sessions around these types of products, things that we use at Bohemian Apiary that we are that we found successful, that we like, uh, and share them with you in the community. Uh, we love doing these videos. We love the fact that our audience is growing every single day. Uh, the fact that you have a choice uh, to subscribe and you do helps us out tremendously because it helps continue to grow our massive web of, of contacts within the space, uh, whether it's a beekeeper or whether it's just an interested party in bees to learn about what we do here on the Eastern Shore of Maryland, um, where for us, um, beekeeping, you know, it's definitely more than a hobby. Uh, it's sort of an obsession. So stay tuned and uh, continue to uh, like, subscribe, follow us along on our next video when we talk about another useful tool here at Bohemian Apiary or some technique we have to help that's been successful with us on the Eastern Shore of Maryland. Thanks for watching, everyone. Have a great day.